Hello, my name is Susan B. Donovan. I went to Mason Ridge in the third grade, I think that was 1957 or 58, consequently went to Parkway Junior High, which is now Parkway Junior High Central, and graduated from Parkway Senior High Central in 1965. It was a unique experience for me at Parkway because ever since I can remember, I wanted to be a dancer. And no one ever made fun of me at school, not a teacher, they encouraged me, always. Even starting in third grade, they would ask me to do little ballet sections when the kids were singing a song. So I got to wear my tutus and romantic tutus. And after my sophomore year, closing year of sophomore year, I auditioned for the St. Louis Municipal Opera. Luckily for me, I got it, but I did not know their schedule. They started May 1st for the dancers. Now, the problem was, in those days, I think it's changed now, in those days, school ran from the day after Labor Day to the first week in June. So I'm going, I have five weeks of school, what's going to happen? So we went in and we talked to our principal and our vice principal. I think Al Burr might have been the principal then. God bless his heart and we miss him a lot. But he helped me talk to all of my teachers who they couldn't have been more supportive. They actually, each one of them had to make a sacrifice because they've got you know six classes a day. They have 30 students maybe and on average. Some you take five days a week, some you may take two or three. So that's a lot of students they're responsible for. Yet each one of them took the time to come in early to meet me, to give me my homework, collect my homework from the previous day. And most tests were honor tests, which I'd like them to know I was honorable about. And they are, were just terrific. They couldn't have been better for me. And had they not done it, I wouldn't have been able to do the St. Louis Municipal Opera, which gave me my union card the Actors' Equity Association, which in show business, you have to belong to a union to get a job, but to get into a union, you have to have a job. So it's kind of a catch-22. And it was wonderful that that launched my career. The first choreographer that did the St. Louis Municipal Opera, I'll call it Muni, was Ron Field. You might know him from Cabaret was his first Broadway show. So when I left for New York on my 18th birthday, <laughs> I ran into people I had met at Muni, which helped me tremendously, which the advice they gave me. And everything that I learned in Parkway, besides teachers, staff, and the students. The students knew me so well that in my senior yearbook, they said to live is to dance. <laughs> they knew where I was headed and I was blessed to blossom into choreography and to writing and directing and managing, the stage managing, and it was a career that spanned over 47 years. And I couldn't have done it, I don't think, without the support of all the teachers and the staff at Parkway. So I have great memories of what they did for me, because it wasn't just my sophomore year, it was my junior year as well. And my senior year, I actually, talked to them at the beginning because my parents, they thought I wouldn't make it, you know. They, they wanted to be encouraging, but they wanted me to have a backup. So they wanted to make sure that I could go to college. One of the catches back then, I don't know if it is now, but you needed four years of English. So first semester of my senior year, I took English Lit and English Comp back to back. And English was my hardest subject. Math, I could whiz through. But there was a teacher named Miss Richter, and I wish she were here today to know she had one sophomore class and one junior class. And I struggled with English. For some strange reason, it was difficult. Diagramming sentences, uh, coming up with things. And I'd like her to know that she would be proud that I became a writer. And actually, many celebrities read my copy without a word change, so I'm proud of that. But that's due to her, that she got through to me. And everything that any student there now that wants any career, whether it be in the entertainment business, anything, trust your teachers. Talk to them. They may surprise you. They're going to lead you and help you, support you, give you insight that you didn't even know they had for you. And that would be my advice for them. That's fantastic. Can you share a little bit about um, what this award means to you, being part of the Parkway Hall of Fame? 
I was so honored. I was so taken back when my friend told me after the fact that she had nominated me, and I went, I'm just an old gypsy, you know? So it was, it was really wonderful. And um, so many people, I called a lot of people in New York and Los Angeles, a lot of my friends, I said, guess what? You know? And they are proud as well. Sometimes you don't think that all of the accomplishments that you've done in your life, um, you go, it's a select group that, that you know and honor you, but seeing the diverse selection of all the honorees tonight, it is a double privilege because they, they are outstanding. What they have accomplished in their fields of endeavor just knocked me out and I went, this is just really, so it's a double honor to be from Parkway and have this at Parkway. I have great nieces and nephews that go to Parkway and they were thrilled. They were tickled. They're telling everyone. When we go in stores, they tell them. <laughs> and out of all the things in show business, this is still a great honor. And I thank you very much. I couldn't be more happy.